Hello, Kerry Brobeck of Duarte, California. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Contributor of both Wrench and Easy Rider magazine. This is Matthew here with FreePrescriptionLenses.com. And tonight I'm going to show you how I cut non-prescription transition lenses with Crizal Alizé for your Ray-Ban 2140, color 901, the classic shiny black and the 50 eye size. Let me take everything out of the original packaging as I receive it. Your Italian leather Ray-Ban case, Ray-Ban cleaning cloth, and your little booklet on the icons, of which yours is in here. Actually, I flipped through the pages. It's got to be. It's got to be. Come on, show me an icon. We've got the aviator, the shooter, the outdoorsman, the wayfarer. There we are. That's yours, the original wayfarer. Comes with a little plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the temples from rubbing together while it is being shipped from Italy as all Ray-Ban sunglasses are. And let me get this ready. You can take my word for it there. The Wayfarer, handmade in Italy. And of course, this is the Ray-Ban 2140, which is the original Wayfarer. Again, color 901, the classic shiny black and the 50 eye size. So the first things first, I'm going to take out your original heavy glass breakable, not the safest material lenses. Put them on the counter. That's what glass sounds like when it's on the counter. And I'm going to cut in a bulletproof, unbreakable lens for you to ride while, while you're wearing uh, to wear while you're riding your motorcycle. I'm going to put this frame into the tracing element of my edger. Hang on, hang on here. I should have gotten prepared. Barcode that, and then I'm going to hit trace, which is three in your neck of the woods, which means figure out the shape in my neck of the woods. The little stylus is going to pop up and it's going to go around and trace the shape of the inside of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left side. Here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. They're just disappointed in my jokes. But yeah, you buy a, a brand new authentic genuine pair of Ray-Ban frames and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or in your case carry non-prescription fashion lenses whether you have vision insurance or flex dollars i will give you an itemized receipt where you can write these off on your taxes or or insurance whether these are prescription or not and of course carry yours are not you did pay the upgrade to transitions and crizal anti-glare but no charge for your lenses just the upgrade so that is the shape of the lens we'll be cutting that is magnify if i minify it down to the that green line is it you will see the shape that i am cutting i'm going to go ahead and magnify it while we are working on it now if these were prescription i would go ahead come down here to my marco 101 lensometer take the lenses out in fact let me do one of these now it comes with a little laminate on the front of the lens to protect the lens while it is being shipped as well i'll put that on there when i ship to you but if these were prescription i would put that in there pull the power up Rotate until the spherical power comes in perfectly to know exactly which way to orient it in here So it is so it is cut perfectly of course being non-prescription. It really does not matter which way it goes in there it Doesn't matter if it's right or left, but I'm gonna put it on the platform I'm gonna get two blocks as I call them Jenny from the block It has a little silver button on the back that is a magnet that's gonna do its job twice tonight but first I need to put a double-sided adhesive sticker of which I've got a two up here the black side is the sticky side stick this onto the first block put that on the platform do the same thing for the second block pull away the paper to make the black side sticky and as I mentioned this magnet is going to do its job twice tonight the first job is going to attach itself to something magnetical here in the arm and I got the lens on the platform you can see if I were to minify again you can see the outline of the lens and as long as I make it within that green thing these are the easiest to cut I don't have to orient it in there just perfectly but I hit this button the arms gonna come down and place the block on to the right lens we're gonna do the same thing now for the unright lens take it out of the protective sleeve again it has the little laminate on the front to protect that I'm gonna stick that on there so we can come back to it later pull the paper away to make the black side sticky line the magnet up and where's my stylus there it is there it is as you can see it is larger than that so hit the button down comes the block and is now applied to the left lens although this could be the right lens which one is it right or left right or left who's gets it who's keeping an eye on things who's keeping an eye that's it we're gonna do that one go back and rewind I have no idea if this is right or not so I'm gonna pull up the shape onto the computer 
Again, that is the shape we'll be cutting. I know from experience that I need to take this down a little bit in size because the 2140 has a very deep bevel. So, let's see, these are polycarbonate lenses. They were plastic, high index plastic, or Trivex. I would select that, but these are the safe poly, unbreakable polycarbonate. I do not want to polish the edge of your lens. It's not gonna be seen in this frame anyway. I'm not gonna put a bevel on the front of the lens. I'm only gonna put a light bevel onto the rear concave side of the lens. I'm gonna hit start. The green button, which is start in every language, the clamp shuts. And then the lens is gonna be traced by two white styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame, which it is. You can see as it's going around tracing the shape. And the old carpenter saying measure twice, cut once. It's measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing. And of course, in non-prescription lenses, you're gonna have no edge thickness. But because I do cut all types of prescription lenses all day long for free when you buy the frames from me, that does become critical with the higher prescriptions. You, carry will not have any edge thickness. So if you see light flickering in the background, that is water there to catch the optical sawdust as it comes off of the cutting wheel. Polycarbonate lenses cut dry where plastic and high index plastic and Trivex cut wet. You will see water spray onto the lens for the last 20 seconds just to wash away any optical debris, such as what you saw forming there a second ago. And that tells me it's in the last 20 seconds of the cutting cycle. Now, where am I, where am I at? Your lenses, as I mentioned, they are made out of polycarbonate. These are the Essilor brand of Transition Signature 7 lenses with Crizal Alizé. Essilor calls polycarbonate airwear because they feel they're as light as air. Again, TR stands for Transitions, the Roman numerals for 7. GY stands for Gray, but don't take my word for it. You can see it here, Transition Signature 7 Gray lenses with Crizal Alizé. In fact, let me go ahead and highlight these. If these were right and left, I normally do that for people so they know what they are receiving and they are getting the original things. These are non-prescription, zero, zero, transitions with Cruzal Alizé. And just for fun, let's mark this one right. That one's left. And that's the power, which is zero. Transitions, Cruzal Alizé. Gotta go through the same routine, whether these are prescription or not. And if you missed any of that, let me recap. Oh, that's a bad joke, but feel free to use it. <laughs> free bad jokes and free lenses with the purchase of any frame. But so I will demonstrate the transitions later, but the Crizal Anti-Glare has three features in one. I'm gonna grab a lens without it. But the three features are that it eliminates glare when driving at night, particularly driving at night in the rain, but street lights, stop lights, computer screens, overhead, fluorescent lights, anything like that. It is also a reflection-free lens. So when someone's looking at you, they're not looking at their reflection in your glasses. And if you take a selfie or someone else takes a picture with the flash, you don't see the flash lit up in the lens, they see just your eyes. Now the third feature that I like, which is the practical side, is it comes with the industry's hardest scratch protection in the business. I'm now gonna open the door with my mind. Grab a paper towel to dry the lens off. I can do other things with my mind. I can melt ice with my mind. I can, it just takes a couple hours, but I can do it. I just gotta keep staring at it. Sometimes the ice wins, but more than likely I do. So, use my thumbnail just to make sure any optical debris has been removed from the frame. I'm gonna tuck it in at the outside corner first. Using my thumbs, I press down. It snaps right in. Let's do the same thing for the left. Flip that over to L. Put that in there, hit start. Just like before the door closes, the clamp shuts. Make sure this is in camera. I can't see what I'm doing. Of course, that's how I live life anyway. I have no clue what I'm doing. But you can see as it's tracing the shape of the lens now. And as always, measuring the thickness of the lens at every point in the circumference to know exactly and precisely where to place the lens for the best edge thickness of which you have none in this frame. But as I mentioned, Crizal puts the best premium anti-glare coating on their lens because the machine that applies the anti-glare coating costs over a million dollars and it takes over 24 hours to vaporize seven different coatings onto the lens to go through the color spectrum of the Roy G. Bib and to block out the glare because of the time and the expense they put the hardest scratch protection on there possible to protect your time and investment. Now if these were prescription I would come down here and verify that these are made right but 
I'm coming up with zero. Where's my flashlight? Where's my flashlight? You know, I've got a smaller one. I just can never find it. But that's where I have zero power, which is no prescription whatsoever. Now, Corey tells me he likes to ride. I do sell this to a lot of riders. Now, that's primarily the reason that I use the unbreakable bulletproof lenses. They're bulletproof up to 22 caliber and have both UVA and UVB protection built into the lens. If anything from the road flies up and hits you in the face, if you're not wearing a full face mask, these lenses will protect your eyes as best they can. These glass lenses, something punctures that lens. You have five layers of the cornea that is sliced open and they will never heal. You have permanent vision damage forever. I guess that's what permanent means, forever. So that's why I use the polycarbonate, just for its safety value. And of course, it is thinner and lighter weight, but with these being non-prescription, that's less of a factor. If you knew how many people have contacted me to tell me the only reason they have eyesight now is because they got lenses from me. One person was walking his nephew, someone who was running the weed eater, a rock flew up, hit him in the lens. A guy in England who got a pair of lenses from me, he was mowing in his kid's tent peg in his backyard. Got underneath the mower, it shattered, destroyed part of his mower, it came up, it hit him in the eye, I don't know how, it must have ricocheted off something, broke his glasses. He mailed me his frames, but the lenses were intact and his eye doctor told him the only reason he could see is because he was wearing my unbreakable lenses. So water is spraying onto the lens to wash off any optical debris. And there's actually a little spinning wheel that's applying the safety bevel to the rear surface of the lens. So in just a moment, I will take this lens out, dry it off, and we'll see if the left side fits perfectly. Corey, this time I want you to open the door with your mind. Man, pretty good, Corey. First day on the job and you can do it. Some people don't believe in telekinesis. Anyone out there who believes in telekinesis, raise my hand. Man, you guys are good. You guys are good. So, let's see here. Tuck the left lens in at the outside corner first using my thumbs. Press down at the nose, it snaps right in. Pop that off. Again, I would come down here, check the prescription to make sure that it's... Look at who just texted me. Tina Wood, you made the video. Congratulations. It's 8.42 on... Thursday, October 20th, 76 degrees in my hometown of Durham, North Carolina. But yeah, I would inspect these just to make sure that they're the correct prescription. Let me go ahead and do that. Look at that again. Zero, zero power. Coincidentally, that's how much you pay for your frame. I mean, your lenses too. Now, you did pay for the upgrade to the transitions and the Crizol anti-glare. But again, as always, free lenses, whether they be prescription or not. Whenever you buy the frame for me now... When you get these in the mail, of course I always do this when I'm cleaning. Let me clean, let me clean. When you get these in the mail, Corey, there's a small chance that these could fit too loose or too tight. However, there is an 80% chance that one side is gonna sit higher than the other. That is because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other. And because of that statistic, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. But I'm gonna get these in standard alignment first also known as a three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. And when I say wobble, I'm part of that 80%. When I take mine off and I set them on the counter, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. Let me put mine back on so I can see what I'm doing, yo. Flip those over, press down. There is no wobble. I close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly and neither of them are askew like that. Check the tension on each spring hinge. Now I'm just about to activate them, which means expose them to a strong burst of ultraviolet light. One last cleaning. And of course, I could use my own cleaning cloth, but no, I like to use yours, the one that you'll be receiving. I field test every cleaning cloth to make sure that it works. I don't want to send any defective ones. So when you get these in the mail and you see a wrinkle in here, you know this one works. I don't know why I always think that's so funny, but I do. It's just, I have to use yours to clean. Hang on, hang on, I'm using it again. And if you really want to clean them, just spit on them first, like this. Patooey! And then, and then give them a good cleaning. I'm, I'm, are you missing this? Oh, I didn't have the camera there. I really need a monitor to see what I'm doing. So, okay. 
So not only am I providing you with one of my premium microfiber cleaning cloths, look at that. Does the shape of that look like yours? I think, I think it does. But you're going to get one from Ray-Ban. What did I do with it? Here it is. With a little bit of junk mail on the inside because you just don't get enough junk mail in your regular mailbox. So now they're putting it in eyeglass cases. You're going to be getting the Crizal cleaning cloth as well. And not only am I providing with mine, but I'm also providing with cleaning instructions, not only how to care for your frame and lenses so they last you for years, but for all three of your cleaning cloths in your case, how to, how to maintain that so those two will last you for years. I also include a selfie request to have your picture on the website. Come on, Corey. Come on, Corey. Send me a picture of you sitting on a nice motorcycle, would you? I'd love to have your picture on the website. But for now, let me go ahead and activate these. So I'm going to expose them to a strong burst of ultraviolet light. Now, as you can see, all transition lenses take about 30 to 45 seconds to darken. It takes a little bit longer to return back to virtually clear when you come back inside, about 45 seconds to a minute to a minute 15. Now, this is important, Corey. Pay attention. All transition lenses will get dark on day one. Give them two weeks of exposure to the sun, and they're going to continue to darken every day for the first couple weeks until they reach their maximum potential. After that, they will work for years at maximum performance. The only time they won't work is if you're behind the windshield of a car. Now, if you have a convertible or like yourself on a motorcycle, they will get dark. But if you are in a car, as soon as you step out of the car, they, they will. Now, the reason why they don't turn in a car is your windshield absorbs all the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays so your dashboard doesn't crack from sitting in the sun and that's why they don't turn dark in a car now they're also temperature sensitive meaning they will get darker when it's 80 degrees and below than they will when it's 90 and above but i remind everyone when it's 100 degrees outside you're miserable they're miserable nobody works 100 percent when it's 100 degrees outside so this is the first time it has been activated don't worry they're going to keep getting darker come on corey we talked about this don't you remember pay attention man stay with me stay with me corey but that's that. If anyone has any questions about what or, or what I can or can't do, and no, I can't stay away from de from I can't drink decaf coffee. Look, my tongue can't even slow down fast enough to say that. Yes, caffeine is good. I drink a lot of water. I drink a lot of filtered water. I drink a lot of filtered water through coffee. Okay, so I drink a lot of coffee. Let's just eliminate the middleman there. So that's that. But Corey in Duarte, California, contributor, possibly editor or writer, I'm not sure, of Wrench Magazine and Easy Writer Magazine. Hope you enjoyed watching as I cut transition lenses, Essilor brand transition lens signature 7 gray lenses with Crizal Alizé for your Ray-Ban 2140, color 901, which is the classic shiny black and the 50 eye size. And hopefully everyone else has got the chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.